Hey, this is Brandon Vietti, one of the producers of Young Justice, and you're listening to Whelm, the Young Justice Files. Recognized, Uncle Walker, D-0-1. Hello, team. Welcome to Intel Update 11. This is Rich, and we have some announcements. As you've likely heard, last week DC Universe announced more details on the subscription service. Though we haven't received a price or a, a solid release date, we did get more info on what will be included in the service. Um, but before we dive into that, just a few announcements. This week's Intel update is brought to you thanks to support editor Richard Kreutz Landry. Huge thanks to Richard for helping us, since producer Neil is currently in France on vacation playing Dungeons and Dragons in a castle in France with some of the biggest names in the RPG industry. Have fun, Neil. We are envious. You can also pop over to a podcast called The Math of You, which uh, hosted Emily and The Math of You discusses formative childhood media in detail, what basically makes you you. It's an incredible concept. I'm hoping I get a chance to go over and talk about it myself. Uh, and it was a, an amazing interview. And you can also link over on YouTube to the Nerdarchy channel. And recently I was invited on the show to talk about all kinds of things, and we did a bit of a dive on Young Justice, uh, writing role-playing games, a bunch of other stuff, and it was a ton of fun. So thanks for having me on the show. So as far as the Season 3 details are concerned, we have our... Basically, they said there was going to be a soft release in August. So you can head over to the link, which is www.dcuniverse.com. I think you can also get it get there through their uh, original link, which was www.dccomics.com slash dcuniverse. You can sign up for updates there, uh, and also I believe that they'll be choosing people for their their kind of soft open so they can give feedback. Last week we talked about the original series that were going to be on the channel, but they've announced what other options will be offered as well. So in addition to the Titans and Doom Patrol and Young Justice Outsiders, etc., Harley, the Harley animated series, they're also going to have classic movies and TV shows. Uh, at the moment, they've announced the Superman 1 through 4 from back in the 70s and 80s, Batman Begins, Dark Knight, uh, Batman Ninja that just came out recently, the Birds of Prey series, uh, the 1990s Flash, uh, Teen Titans, Super Friends, the Legion of Superheroes animated series, which uh, I really enjoyed that Brandon Vietti directed a lot of those, uh, a lot of the episodes for. Of course, the original Young Justice, Static Shock, uh, Lois and Clark, Constantine, back from 2014, uh, The Adventures of Superman, Max Fleischer's Superman serials from back in the 40s and 50s. If you haven't seen those, those are some pretty incredible animation, hand-drawn cell animation from back in the day. The Superboy TV series, I think this is the one that was in the 80s or 90s. Batman the Animated Series, Wonder Woman uh, from 1977. There's also, they're cycling in some animated movies. The ones that they're going to start with are All-Star Superman, Batman vs. Robin, Batman Year One, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, which is a good one, but it's also pretty R, I would say. Uh, Green Lantern First Flight, Gotham by Gaslight, Justice League Doom, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, Superman Doomsday, Wonder Woman, and they said that they're going to be cycling new animated movies. And then I thought they were going to give access to all of the comics that they have on Comixology, but I guess that's not what they're going to do. They're going to do a curated list of quote-unquote must-reads, uh, which will include 50, uh, 52, which we've talked about on the show quite a bit, action comics uh, from way back down in 1938, adventure comics that, from 1958, uh, the 2011 Aquaman series, 2002 Batman, uh, the Cyborg series from 2015, uh, Deathstroke, Detective Comics, Green Arrow, Year One, Green Lantern, Harley Quinn, J Justice League of America, the Justice League series from 2011, uh, My Greatest Adventures from 1963, Suicide Squad, Superman, Batman that started in 2004, Swamp Thing, Teen Titans, The Flash, Wonder Woman, and they're going to be cycling in different comics at different times. I don't know how they're going to control that, but we'll just have to see how that's going. 
and as things get released. The service is scheduled to launch, as I mentioned, in a beta mode in August. We'll have a link to where you can go to, and they said there'd be a full rollout later in the year, so 2018, but we don't know how long that's going to be. We'll have to see. There is going to be a San Diego Comic-Con panel, as we mentioned before, but it's now been confirmed for Friday on uh, Friday, July 20th at 10 a.m. Uh, in room 6 D and E if you're going to be at Comic-Con. In addition to, apparently, they're going to be releasing some first look footage of the season. Uh, the panel's going to have Greg Weissman, Brandon Vietti, Phil Barassa. They're going to have voice director Jamie Thomason, and uh, they're going to have Stephanie Lemlin from the cast and also Troy Baker, who is joining the cast. Troy Baker's a fantastic voice actor. I don't know exactly who he's playing yet. I'll have to look that up but he is joining the cast for the next season. Of course, we unfortunately also found out that Young Justice Outsiders is not going to be releasing in 2018. According to this announcement, uh, along with a number of the live-action shows, they'll be releasing in 2019. We don't know when. We're hoping first quarter, but just like you, we're, we're bummed. We're bummed at the delay. But uh, a couple of things. First, keep in mind that these release dates are decided by the bigger companies, like DC Entertainment or Warner Brothers, not by the Young Justice creative team. Greg and Brandon, Phil, the cast and crew, the show, they have no control over these release dates. They only have the control over the creation of the material and providing it to the company. So just keep that in mind when you're interacting with the cast and crew on social media. And second, we here at the show were planning out material for what we thought was going to be a fall 2018 release. With at least six more months until we can start breaking down season three, we have been revisiting our plans. We continue to hope that after San Diego Comic Con's panel, we'll be able to start bringing more of the cast and crew on the show. In addition to continued discussion sessions, our final Super Sweethearts for the first two seasons, and our second season of Secret Origins, which I'll be starting soon, we'll be expanding our list of Elseworlds deep dives and are working on a new Secret Origins series that focuses exclusively on the antagonists of the show to kind of catch up to speed with some of the craziness that already happened that may lead up to things that are going to happen. As far as the show is concerned, most immediately over the next few weeks, you can look forward to a two-part discussion of the (laughs) incredible tie-in comics with Christopher Jones that's been recorded and ready to go, Uh, an interview with Sage Hayden, who is the writer and creator of the Just Write YouTube channel of video essays. Emily interviewed Sage, and we're looking forward to having them on the show. Robert Segura, who is the content creator, one of the content creators and the voice behind the Golden Glove on Heroes of Halcyon City from Nerds on a Roll is going to be on the show. That's already been recorded as well. And then you'll also get Emily and I doing a deep dive into our next Elseworlds review, which is Gotham by Gaslight. So that should be coming out over the next next month or so. We'd like to uh, welcome our new Delta team member as well, Jared Rasher. Jared is a reviewer for the award-winning RPG industry website Gnome Stew. Um, which is a fantastic site. You should go check it out if you're a gamer. Huge thanks to Jared. And, of course, even if you're not a patron over at Patreon, you should check out the Patreon page every now and then. There's some extra content that patrons get uh, early access to, but that cycles into the public eye after uh, some period of time. So there's material over there that you can enjoy, even if you're not a patron. And we have a few short reviews, since it's just me today. I uh, The most recent reviews all were a little bit short, so I'm going to mention some of these reviews and say some thanks the first one is from bishop is what it looks like but it's eight i s h o p so much more than i was expecting i originally came here to learn something about a show i enjoyed what i came away with was more than i ever could have hoped for my own writing has improved so much from the advice and can in the canary debrief i enjoy my gaming sessions more i feel like part of a community And most importantly is that I now have a new and brighter view on everything, (laughs) not just Young Justice. Thank you so much, Rich, Caleb, Emily, and Neil. Wow, thanks so much. That's amazing. The next uh, review is by Gamery Dude with lots of E's. Uh, Made me appreciate the show more. This pod is amazing. Breaks down almost everything from the show and gives insights to things I didn't even realize were there. Super nerdy but really awesome. And that's pretty much one of the best compliments we can get. Thank you so much. And then our last interview is, yes, finally, from KitKat706. I love YJ so much, and I'm so happy I found this podcast. Triple red hearts. Keep up the good work, dudes. I love it. Short and sweet and fantastic. We appreciate that. 
And a huge thanks to everyone who has given a review and or rating. Uh, of course, the best way to sh- support the show is to share it with a friend. You can also support us with a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or your podcatcher of choice. Leaving a rating or review pushes us up in the search ranks and helps other people find the show. Please continue to buy YJ Comics on Comixology and use hashtag Young Justice Outsiders when talking about Season 3. And if you want to help us get more episodes, more Secret Origins, actual play podcasts, and even more of the stuff that we've produced so far, please consider supporting us through Patreon. For just a few dollars a month, you can help us do even more with the show while getting some great rewards for yourself. And remember, stay whelmed, everyone. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our hosts are Rich Howard and Emily Booza. Our editor and producer is Neil Powell. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed. Thank you.